Hello, everyone. I'm Melinda Nail, fanatic of Love, Peace, and Happiness Tarot in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is your April 2018 Tarot and Channel Messages for Libra. It applies for your Sun, Moon, Rising, your Northern Node, your Venus, any aspects of your chart that you understand how to interpret for yourself. Please feel free. Let's see what is the word of clarity coming out for you for this time. Here we have the Lady in Meditation. So it's an art card as opposed to a words card. So it's advising that we take time to still ourselves and go within. Joy is an underlying support at the bottom of the deck. So finding the things that create joy in your life, finding the things that you're joyful about, enhancing your joy um, through embracing the desires that you have and embracing your own energy and your own power and doing the things that feel right for you. Let's see what's the flashcard is coming out for you. This one. Okay. There we have the apple. <clears throat> So it's looking like a juicy um, Ace of Pentacles to me, saying that you have a new start, finances coming in better. That could be some of the reason why you're having the joy card come up. But I feel that um, even if it is some of the reason that you're joyful, it was the joy that you held within, your own internal joy that actually brought that Ace of Pentacles in. The card that you have coming from this major arcana deck is the star card. And that says that you are blessed and inspired and protected throughout this whole thing. That your dreams are in front of you to receive. And the only thing you've got to do is check yourself on what it is that you believe. Because if you believe against your own blessings, if you believe against the messages that you're receiving and the di divine guidance that you're getting... And that is the only thing that can stop your progress because if you can work with the meditation, if you can work with the divine downloads that you're getting, if you can work with your joy and have faith in what you're seeing, the blessings that are coming in for you, then you're going to see a lot more of that coming in to heal your life right now, Libra. So April is important for you in that way. Um, I'm getting that there are some divine downloads for you about a situation that... Um, you've been building and brewing for years now for some of you that you've been creating a situation you've been creating a business or a talent and embracing a talent some of you uh, that you have been nurturing this for a long time and so some breakthrough energy coming in there for you um some blessings there so what is it that you've been investing in what is it that you've been investing your time your energy your wishes and your prayers and intentions in okay libra um i see that you're in a period where you're waiting for information to come in you're waiting to hear back from someone you're waiting to see how something you started is working out you put the offer out there um what you have available and um you're starting to hear back from people uh about their interest you are nervous about how to move forward because whatever this is that you're working on it really does mean a lot to you and you're deeply emotionally invested in it i feel like um, you've worked on it for a long time. For some of you, eight years or nine years, you've been working on this. And you know what? The thing of it is, uh, you have the Justice card coming up for you saying that Spirit is helping to bring balance and rightness to everything. So for you, it's really important to um, see how you are receiving in the physical the things that you ask for and look for. The things that you set your intentions for. Coming from the crystal reading cards, we have spiritual awakening as a base, but joy came out of the deck. 
So again, joy is on the table for you. You have two cards of joy there on the table for you. I feel like um, you're using your emotions as a guidance system, you're paying attention to how you feel about things and you're making sure that you choose a path of joy. In doing that, it's making you more versatile, more flexible because you're following your emotions. You're not following the physical world. I do feel like you're waiting to hear back from someone about an offer, about an opportunity. Um, if you put anything out there for people to take, uh, advantage of an opportunity you're just waiting for the responses to begin to come in at this time you have from the journey of love cards here the guardian of the soul family with the dream a little card as its support the guardian of the soul family is letting you know that not only do you feel um a connection a spiritual connection either to another person or your spiritual connection is just really sensitive right now and it's um, linking you to your family of ancestors and loved ones who have gone before you. And it's there to bring you a bit of comfort and peace because there's a dream that you wanted to, to build and create. And it's looking like it's working out well. The rune that I pulled for you is... Othila, it's a rune of prosperity, letting us know that everything is going to work out in a prosperous way for you in regards to the situation that is on your mind when I say this. The card of risk comes out of the risk bring woods deck for you, saying learning to grow wherever you are planted. And I also got the message of, you know, you feel like you're taking a bit of a risk and that risk is going to be rewarded because risk is trusting in the inspiration from within and then taking it and allowing it to be in your actions moving forward and trust in that moving forward that in those actions the risk sees reward and with prosperity here on the table I feel that especially if this is linked to your finances somehow it's definitely going to come in I feel like you had a dream though you wanted to embrace humanity in some way. There's something you want, a situation you want to create either to prosper your family. Some of you are thinking about long-term wealth. Some of you are thinking about what you'll have to leave your family. Um, and for somebody, there's actually a legal situation that you're wait, waiting on a decision in regards to that is going to come back positive for you. So I do see, um, I do see that if you're waiting on a, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces person, that person has been on your mind a lot. And I feel like there's a little bit of um, fear or a bit of resistance in moving forward with this person, especially where romance or love is concerned. Um, but I feel like you know you're going to be hearing from this person. And when you hear from this person, I feel like you'll be surprised because there's going to be a greater sense of justice and whatever this person is speaking to you about, what you're hearing from them. Um, I have, again, I'm hearing, you know, to remind you that your family members and your loved ones who are in spirit are in full support of you and they're blessing you and they're with you. And the card that came out of the universe has your back deck says, energy flows where my intention goes. <laughs> Excuse me. So, with that, we want to be um, attentive to where our intentions are going and where our focus is set. Excuse me. Um, what are we giving our attention to? Because energy is flowing that way. And so with the joy card coming out here, you're getting strong um, advice to really follow the path of your bliss. Follow your joy. And the risks that you're undergoing, you know, if you knew you would be successful, what's the next step, next step you would take? It's time to really implement that as a strategy. Knowing that what is inspired and what you received as a download is definitely something that is um, successful. Spirit doesn't guide you to failure, it guides you to success. And I feel like you're getting more and more in touch with that inner guidance system.
I feel like you're in a level of life where you're going through greater um, spiritual awakenings right now. And it's really fun for you to see how you're developing, how you are um, evolving. And I feel that for you, you're going to have a situation where you were wanting some justice that's coming in for you. Understand that if you feel like anything has been unjust, spirit, love source, God energy is working on that. And in the meantime, um, we want to be guided emotionally towards our joy. That's where your real power is in this situation. Yeah, you felt like um, things were falling apart and you had to walk away from some situations. And so now you're waiting for those things to remedy themselves. But the benefit in walking away from situations that were not um, feeling just for you is that you take away your resistance from receiving the justice that is available and that is um, being encouraged from Love Source God and the universe around you because justice is what's coming in for you. And I feel like during your own time of Libra, you're going to have some major developments come up for you about something that you were very emotional about where somebody um, behaved very cruelly in a way and put you on guard in a sense. And so whatever that situation is, you have blessings from your ancestors and your spirit guides and your angels protecting you as you go in this journey. So continue to pay attention to where things are working out. Expect also during the month of April, some type of gift with this apple for someone, it's a gift. You receive a gift from somebody who cares deeply for you, from somebody who wants to see you in a greater sense of joy. They're literally bringing you this gift just to cheer you up. And so, um, you know, instead of thinking about the pain of the past, we want to focus on the joy of today because the joy of today brings in the joy of tomorrow and energy flows where your intention goes. So what are the messages do we have? Remember that prosperity is on the table for you. So when you have the opportunity to stretch yourself a little bit and it feels like there's going to be reward there, you're absolutely right. This rune lets you know that you are absolutely right in that. So these are the messages that I have for you, Libra, for April 2018. Um, I... I'm also reminding you that we have our Love, Peace, and Happiness retreat here in Las Vegas, May 6th, 7th, and 8th. We're going to have a small, intimate group that's focused on helping you raise your vibration so you can have more love, peace, and health, wealth, and happiness in your life today and to leave behind as your carbon footprint so you can continue to radiate that energy in your life and attain the things that are on your heart to receive. Um, for more information and to purchase your tickets on that, you can go to the website. We still have our 555 one question tarot readings as well as full readings and other services available for you. So please go check out the website. Thank you for all you do. And my website is lphtarot.com. That's lphtarot.com. As in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours and of course me and mine. Until next time.